Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to give you all an update on the latest about my dad. Uh, as many of you know, uh, he was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia uh, around the, the third week in September of last year, about three months ago. And he began ke chemotherapy uh, almost immediately and, and had his first three rounds and then uh, started to get sick and for reasons I won't go into right now his um, bronchial infection uh, went untreated for almost six weeks and, and uh, turned into severe pneumonia and he's been in and out of the hospital um, for at least the last month or so, uh, trying to get the, the pneumonia under control. He went back in the hospital about a week and a half ago, um, still extremely sick, and he's been refusing food other than a, a bite or two here and there for more than a month now. Um, and my dad and my stepmom have been refusing to um, to let me or anybody else from the family, you know, come out there to, to be with him and, and try to help, which has been difficult, as, you know, I've discussed with a lot of y'all over the last few months. And so my stepmom talked to his doctors um, yesterday, and they said that they have tried everything that they could to treat the pneumonia and that it has been unresponsive to um, any of the antibiotics or other medications that they've tried and that the pneumonia had become untreatable and that because the pneumonia was untreatable and he was so weak and sick, um, they were unable to proceed with any further cancer treatments, or chemotherapy, and his blastocysts, which are um, a cancer marker that tells them how, how severe the cancer is, had shot way up in the meantime. And because of all of these things, that there's no way for them to continue treatment and no meaningful hope of recovery. So the doctor told my stepmom that he has days, maybe weeks, that it's really hard to tell. And so she signed him out against medical advice and brought him home last night. And we're trying to get Medicare home hospice set up for him. But she finally agreed to to let me and um, some other family members come out to Phoenix. And a friend of my mom's donated some airline miles to get me out there. And I leave on Saturday. But I wanted to personally thank everybody that's offered to, to chip in again to, to help get me out there. To say goodbye to him. I never imagined that I would find myself in a, in a position to have two immediate family members, my dad and my brother, in, in hospice at the same time in two different states, 2,300 miles away from me. To say that last year has been difficult would be a, a vast understatement. But I wouldn't have been able to get through it all without any, all of your love and support. And I just can't thank you all enough for you know all of your messages and phone calls and texts and you know uh, distraction techniques and and just just really being so so great through all of this. You've all 
done so much to lift my spirits and, and to help out. And I, it means the world to me. So I just ask that, that you all join me in um, praying or sending thoughts of comfort and, and healing to him. His name is Don, and that's who my brother Donnie was named after. So they both need your thoughts of, of comfort and peace and and wishes for a peaceful transition for both of them. That's the best that, that we can hope for at this point. And even if my dad doesn't make it until I get there on Saturday, I just want all, all of you <clears throat> to join me in sending him thoughts of love and, and peace in I guess that I guess that's about it so I'll keep everybody posted and thanks again for just being there I love you guys take care for now bye